All right, so here I'm gonna show you guys how to add a custom part to your standard parts library. So you'll need to open up the database administrator here and then we'll click on add part. We will select our part file. So we have a quarter inch bolt here. We're gonna to add to the, um, to the library, hit okay. It's gonna throw you a war warning here saying we cannot read category file. Um, this is basically saying it's not a um, out of the box part, it's a custom part. So you wanna hit yes, so you can enter in your own um, details, which category to add it to and whatnot. Um, we'll go ahead and add it to the existing um, US standard here. Uh, I'll do steel, hex bolt, um, hex bolt, ASME. Okay. And it's going to um, automatically generate these um, characteristics or parameters uh, based on the category if you choose an existing one. So the nominal length is 1.25 inches, thread is 1 quarter 28 UNF, and the thread diameter is 0 0.25 inches, um, so quarter of an inch. Um, we'll just put bolt A here. Um, here you can add some uh, custom properties if you want. Uh, we can add the part number, for example. One, 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 one. And here you can enable um, the fastener system. So just make sure you choose what kind it is here. Let's see, hexagon head. And just enter in these parameters. Um, you can click this um, info button here. It's gonna show you what each parameter is. Okay, once that's all laid out for you, go ahead and click OK. Let's see if that got added in here. So we have our bolt A here. Um, this should be added. Now we'll go ahead and run Solid Edge. Open it up an assembly. Okay, so we already have a previous bolt here. We'll just get rid of that. Um, okay, so now to use that custom part we just added, um, we can go to the fastener system. Um, you can also insert it simply as a standard part, um, which is just going to add one component at a time, and then you can constrain it. But Fastener System just allows you to do multiple at a time. So you see how I select one, it's going to select all those same ones um, that's on this face. And then I'm going to select this back. As soon as I connect the uh, back face, uh, it's going to populate all the parts that will fit. Um, this whole diameter that I just chose. Okay, so um, here we have uh, the appropriate threads here. So it's already on the category that we added our bolt. So this is the one we added here. Um, you can see we didn't specify material, that's why it's blank. So this is the custom part we just added. And we'll go ahead and hit Add Fastener. And you want to choose the user defined. Um, since this is a custom part, um, you want to choose the length that's specified. We don't have variations of this yet. And then here you have the option to choose top stack components and bottom stack components. So top stack would be um, stuff like your washers that you can see it's already populated here for you. And it already chooses the proper size, which is a quarter inch. 
uh, clearance there. So add fastener, it's gonna show up here in your top stack. Then we'll go to bottom stack uh, components. And these are where you can add your um, nuts. So we'll go ahead and choose a simple hex nut here. Add that fastener and you're gonna see you have your washer and hex nut here. And now we can uh, preview it in the assembly. You see what it's gonna look like. Um, so it gets kind of minimized here while you preview. Just click that to bring it back up. We're happy with the result. Click OK and it gets placed on all um, three locations there.